Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. So I've been working on this journal for the past couple of weeks. Um, well, I've been tidying up and everything. I was meant to be doing a whole lot of other journals and that before this one, but I kept finding bits and pieces for it and I got really inspired, so I decided to make it. Now, a lot of you would know the lady that I made this for, and it's a bit of a secret, so she doesn't know she's getting it until she's got it and I can't show it until then either so now that you're seeing it it means she's got it and many of you probably follow this lady and will know who it is just by looking at the pink and the flamingo <laughs> so what happened was I was gifted a um, beautiful happy mail for Valentine's from the lovely Creating with Jovi and when I watch her, she's just such a bright spark. She has the most beautiful family and she's quite unique in that. And I really like that about her. So um, when I was breaking down books and going up shopping and that, I kept finding flamingos. And I didn't know if I'd do anything with them. <laughs> so I was putting them aside to send a happy mail to her. Um, and... Um, I just thought, how much fun would it to be able, be able to make this? So <laughs> instead of sending this stuff in a happy mail, I decided to make a journal for her. So it is a gift bag that I found. I found it before Christmas, actually, this gift bag. So that's how long it's taken me. And I decided it would make a beautiful cover. So that's what I've done with it. So it is a soft cover made with the gift bag. It has this little flamingo charm here. Um, I've just five whole pamphlets, stitched it with some pink thread. I've put some lace and that around. It looked really cool just as the bag, but I had stuck, like cut it down and stuck bits together and I didn't want them to sort of come undone and that. So I thought it'd be best with something around the spine. So I've left the handles on so it can actually be picked up and carried like a little bag gift bag and to make it look even more like a gift bag I have put this um, little tag on it now this tag if you've been watching all my hauls you would have seen one where I found this little flamingo pink flamingo gift set which is what this says and it was a bit of like your florist's foam with these plastic flamingos and fences that you could stick standing up in the foam really weird <laughs> so i actually grabbed that from the op shop because i thought oh, jovi would love this <laughs> so um yeah so what i did was use some of the box that packaged it to create this tag and i backed it with just some um scrap paper i had from a book and hung it with a bulb pin and put a little eyelet in it so that turned out really cool so it almost looks like a gift Okay, so I've just used some of this uh, crochet nylon netting stuff to do a tie for it through some eyelets. So I'll open it up. So it is very bright and eclectic, just like Jovi herself. So what I did was I used a, it's like a file folder that had this window in. Um, and I've used that folder in half and I stuck the cover to that. And I've just used some washi tape that I had that had flamingos on. Well, it's more like um, duct tape. That I think you get it from Aldi sometimes on sale. Uh, use that to decorate and to strengthen because I was sewing the signature into this. So. Now I have got a video, which I'll try and remember to link below um, of me making this cover and selecting some of the pages. The rest of it I did off camera. So what I've done is I've left this open, so it's a little pocket, and I've put a few things in. So this is just some old scrapbook paper. Oh no, I think it was a magazine page that I was gifted probably by the lovely Geo. So I really liked that. So I put um, one of the Tim Holt small talk sayings on it. It says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And then on the back side, I have collaged some napkin flamingo and just a little saying that says, oh, happy day. That's covering up some text that was there. And then I punched out a little tab. 
And then I also made this little journaling card and that's more napkin collaged onto, I think it's meant to be a recipe card, this. Just got a bit of glue there. So I love the pink stars and I love that napkin. It says stand tall and stand out. So I thought I'd stick that in there and it's a nice surprise when she takes the other journaling card out. If I can slip it in there right. Pop that out so the tab shows. And then I just collaged, it's like a little scrappy with some paper and some fabrics and I stamped Jovi's name. Her name is Joanne, but I thought I would do Jovi because it fit nice. <laughs> So I've just used some off cuts of scrapbook paper that I had that had flamingos. This is the flamingo and fence that was in the um, set that was packaged in this packaging. So I stuck one of them on there. <laughs> Why not, I thought. And it had this little pink flamingo book in it. Um, and I don't know what I'd, I was going to cut it up and make all sorts of ephemera with it. And then I thought, no, 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 it's got a whole lot about flamingos in it. So I thought she has to have that book. So I thought I'd make a little belly band that I could slip it in. So it sits at the front of the book there. And I've just embellished that with a little flower. So the um, other side was white. So I've just done some stenciling and I cut out some... I think it's scrapbook page. Oh, this is book page, I think, out of an old book. Um, and I use that to back this picture. So it's some flamingos on the water. And I love that picture. I thought I'd make a flip up for, with that, and then a little tab. And then I stuck just a Project Life card on it. I thought that was beautiful, a little flower. And then this tag I made with offcuts from bits and pieces I've used in here. And I made this for a challenge in the, um, Tracy Fox's Foxy Crafters Facebook group. Um, she had a scrappy tag challenge, so I thought, well, I'm going to grab my scraps from this and see what I can make. And I liked it enough to put it in. I splattered some paint on it. I was trying to get all arty. Um, yeah, so I just slipped that down behind. Uh, this is, it says scrapbook, and I really wanted to keep that word in here and put it near the front. Now, that's out of an old book. I think it was a Dame Edna Everidge um, book. Um, most Aussies would know her. <laughs> so um, I didn't like the picture on this side, so I put some journaling space. So this journal's quite small. I want to try and keep it small and see if I can get away with cheap postage. Good luck to me. I don't know if it's quite going to make it. <laughs> so, so I did try and keep it not too bulky. Um, but I did add a little bit of journaling space. But there's room here for more pictures or journaling space as well. Um, this, I think, come out of a magazine, whether it was a Daphne's Diary or something like that. Thought I'd use it up. Beautiful colours. Again, I made another journaling spot with just some paper I had here and some washi tape. Beautiful flamingos. A lot of the flamingo pictures come out of magazines and old books, and so the magazine ones were really thin, so they needed some backing. So I've backed it with some more journaling space. I love this page. I assume that come from a Daphne's diary. Some of these pages I've been gifted and some I've taken out of magazines myself. So I thought I'd put that in because it just looked really cool. And that says, have a nice day. So I wanted to leave that as is. But again, there's a lot of room there for um, Joanne to be able to stick things or journaling spaces. I had this beautiful pink vellum. This is a number one with a flamingo. It came out of a children's book. So I thought that would make a nice little tuck spot. Another picture of a flamingo that can be journaled on. It slips just in there. That was just a page out of a magazine or something, a diary page. I have stacks and stacks of these animal cards. Um, so I went through them and found a flamingo one. I put a little tab on there so that she can see that, it, you know, you do something with it. So it opens up like that. Usually I'd put pockets or something in there, but I thought she might like to look at the information. So I thought I'd leave that. So there's scope for her to be able to do a lot in here if she wants to. Um, there's a vintage picture here. It says, go on waiting. It's like the farmer's sitting there waiting and has put all these seeds down and the flamingos are trying to eat all the seeds. And then the other side shows you what happens to them afterwards some journaling space. Now this I did stick down with my um, Helmer's glue because it had lifted up before. 
So I might have to add some more after it's not wanting to stay down. This is a beautiful piece out of an art book or something that I come across and it's really thick, nice paper. Beautiful picture in colour. Then I have been gifted in a happy mail this pretty bag, so I thought I'd reuse that. I have some sticky notes that have flamingos, so I put one of those on. This is the front of the pink flamingo gift set. Includes lawn. Um, so I've just left that. That's how it was, so that can be written on and it makes a nice little journaling spot and slips in there. Beautiful picture from a magazine. And in here, I have this board which came from the cover of a book that I cut up. So I love the colours on that, so I've used that just to create another journaling card that can be written on. So it's my favourite things, and I put one of my scrappy tags that I've made previously on there. And then, um, tabs I should say. And then I've just napkined that side. Isn't it beautiful colours on that? I had three flamingo napkins and I'm pretty sure that I was given each one of them. So I thought I'd use a piece of each in this. So I stuck some lace in between um, the bag edges there and then stuck it down. This is just a diary page. So I have this diary and it's got this beautiful paper in it. So it was meant to have the Monday to Friday here, but I must have turned it upside down or something because it's got like the days up there. And when I opened it up after I'd signed the signatures in, it had the days upside down down here. So I thought I'd just stick some washi tape over that. And I've stuck this over where it says notes upside down. It just says, follow your heart. <laughs> so I fixed that. So that's the other side of that beautiful paper. Um, this is a... Oh, that was a pocket, yeah. And I thought I'd put something in there, but maybe not. Now yeah, I've got to have a look. Has something fallen in there? I don't think so. All right, so that's a pocket I created <laughs> with flamingos. So I don't know if I will put anything in there now. I'll just make it bulkier. Although I do have some more Project Life cards, so I might whip one of those in there afterwards. We'll see. So I've just backed this onto some book page. Now a lot of the time when I do my projects, if I do some painting, um, all the paint that's left over on the brush and that I paint off onto some old book page. And so I'd done that the other day. So I thought, well, why not use some of that since it's pink to back this picture out of an old book. Now this is the other side where he's wrangled the flamingos because they went round and around eating the seeds and they got all twisted together. So I thought that'll give her a bit of a giggle. Then I had this out of a magazine and I have created a pocket and it has this beautiful flamingo picture. And I just used a word out of the book and backed it onto one of my fabric scrappies again. And that's out of the book cover as well. So that can be written on and that just slips into the pocket. I had so much fun making this. So this is another picture. I only had like, you know, a bit of a strip of them like that with their heads up. So I thought I'd just cut a bit of that out and use it to create a little tuck spot. So that Project Life card fits in there. It's the other side of the diary page. A bit of washi tape and stenciling of the vellum again. I love that sorbet. It looks really cool pink. Um, this is a bit of the packaging as well for the flamingo and the lawn and stuff. And I just use my circle punch on it. Makes it a nice little tab. And that was the magazine page that had flamingos on, on the other side. But I love the colours on it, so I left that as is. It's a little ticket that I've stuck up there. It's sort of like a top tuck, but the picture that was under there was this one. And it kept falling out, so I just took it out. So this is some lace that my mum had dyed for me. She dyed it beautiful colours. It has some pink and purple on that. So I thought that would go great on this paint chip. It says Pink Haven. I thought that was fitting. So I've used that create a little tuck spot as well. Uh, this is a vintage flamingo picture that I backed onto some pink. That would have come out of a book to a pink page. And then I've put some writing paper on there. So that slips in there, and then I decided I'd put this one in there. So that's just a picture out of magazine backed onto some paper and some material. Journaling space, 
beautiful picture of flamingo and there's the information that came with it. I made that a little tuck spot and I just tucked in a couple of tickets just for something to tuck in. Then I had this page out of a Daphne's diary or something that had these big tickets. They were donuts, movies and fun. You are our special guest. Invitation for a movie night by the looks. So I thought that was a bit of fun. So I've stenciled this piece. It's just the other side of my scrapbook paper. And I just tucked that ticket over the top. Probably doesn't even need the paper clip, but it does sort of move back and forth a bit. So I put it on there. Now I'm in Australia and this is going to the US. That's why I thought I'll try and keep it a bit smaller. So this is the other side of the cover with the file folder. So I did just tuck the corner over to create a little tuck spot and a pocket in there. Um, and then I had this piece that's just been hanging around. I'm not sure if, I think it come probably from something I got from the secondhand shop or something and I don't know what I'd do with it. So I decided to stick it there, create a little pocket. And I put this piece of board with some information about the flamingo on. And that can be journal done. That slips in there. I used a little punched out circle just to hold this triangle down. And this is a bit of wrapping paper, I think, that someone gave me. So I've been using that here and there. And I tucked in there a little doily, which I've inked up, done a little circle with um, Jovi on it. And I've just written a little note to her in there. So, and that just slips nicely in there. So, and then in here, I made a big journaling card. This is out of a embroidery magazine, I think. Machine embroidery magazine. I've been ripping a whole pile of those up. Really liked the colours on that. So I just put it onto some of this book cover. A little bit of glue there. I must rub off while I'm at it. Whether it'll come off. Might attack that later. So. And one of my fabric tabs on there as well, just so she can see that it's to be pulled out. So that was so much fun making that. <laughs> very different, <laughs> very bright and eclectic. But um, I feel that Jo is like that. So I thought this suited her really well and I hope she likes it. I think it'll be a nice surprise for her. And it was so much fun just getting all those bits. Every time I come across anything pink or gross, <laughs> I just chucked it in this tub for Jo. <laughs> Yeah, and then I looked at it and I got all excited and inspired. So I thought, well, when you've got that inspiration, you have to go with the flow. So <laughs> that's what I did. So that's the back of it. So you just see the lace and the material. Beautiful, beautiful gift bag. That was so much fun making a journal with that as a cover. So I'll be looking out for more gift bags that are really nice like this to make something out of in the future. So I hope you enjoyed that and that it gave you some ideas. Um, yeah, heaps of fun. Hope you're all well and I will see you soon. Bye.